Here's another curiosity being donated to me to have a look inside. It's um, Omron Carvada Scan Scales. So it's scales to weigh you, but you can also do all sorts of other bits and pieces like BMIs, body fats, muscles, etc. Visceral fat. And it's got plenty of memories and you know lots of other profiles that you can create and this is cool when you're standing on your scales you hold this as well so it can pick up various bits from these sensors so it isn't working batteries have been replaced so let's open and have a look inside should be fairly easy to get to just got some screws it's a curious little opening here and then, yeah, this should just lift off. It's gonna be cool to see how it works because these don't really press in very much like with scales. So there must be some very sensitive readers in there which can weigh you. And there's our on and off button at the bottom here. So if you need to, you can kick that with a toe to switch it on. But on one's a good make. And yeah, let's see how it, uh, see what's inside. Okay, let's get this open. Got some crosshead screws, that's pretty good. Let's see what wonders lurk within. Catch you what I've managed to do all these. Okay, so it's time of opening. Ooh, it's got some wires attached, as we'd expect. Wow. Quite a circuit board in here. Uh, so there's our sensors inside. So one for each corner. And a small little circuit board just pinned in there. Plenty of wires going in. There's our on and off button. Battery feed, of course, coming in. What's on there, anything interesting? Not serial number, model number, perhaps. And then, of course, we have our wires for each sensor. So it looks like one wire for each sensor. Mind you, there's two going to that one, two going to that one, and then just one out to here, so. Oh, well, that makes sense. I guess they just loop. And then this weird thing here. So what's in this disc? We're gonna have to find out, aren't we? And this little compartment here, which we saw from that case, that's there's more screws to it than there. So I thought you could just open that from outside, but yeah, there's some more screws all around here. And a curious device in there. I guess this is, this must just lead to this, I suspect. But we'll have a look. All the processing is done in a circuit board down there. So let's check it out. Uh, that explains what that was all about now. That was the little spring inside there, which of course has now unwound itself. So that's all that really is, is this little module that when you remove your sensor bar, that just retracts that. Um, and that's just the wire that leads up to there. So I'm going to try and get this off to have a look underneath, but I don't think there's going to be a huge amount to see there. But we'll do that, and then we'll just plug it back into batteries and see if anything happens. I can't see anything wrong with it. Um, possibly some moisture here has got in. May have got into the circuit board, perhaps. I don't know. But uh, let's carry on with our dissection. Yep, all this does is just takes the output from here, goes into here through this cable system. And there's our little spring, very much like a tape measure spring, but just when you push this back in, that sucks this curly cord back in. No, not a lot behind here, one chip. You might better read that better than I can. But not a huge amount there. 
So I don't see what's happened. Uh, it doesn't look like it's got any water damage, despite these rust marks. So I'm just going to whack some batteries in and we'll just see if it powers up. Anyway, what we're going to use, we're going to use some lovely Amazon Basics batteries. We'll whack them in. We'll see if anything comes to life. Turning on, there's the button. Ah, oh, it is working. Hmm. Okay, let's go on it, see what it picks up. Mm, there we go. Well, I'll go and get my other scales and see if that's roughly the same. What about these, this bad boy? Get off, it's clipped in, hang on a second. It's the Omron BF511. Hmm. So what do you do with this? Hold it. I have to get the instructions. Uh, I wonder if it's these that are broken. Could be, couldn't it? Turn off and back on again. Seems to do a calibration, which is cool. Oh no, there we go. Number one. So it's flashing. What do we do with this? No, these work. Someone was 47 kilos. That was the last memory, I guess. Can I be a guest? Oh, here we go. Some calories. Muscle fat. Or muscle, is that, yeah, that's fat, of course. Muscle, 27, and then BMIs, yeah, there we go, 19.6. Someone's pretty healthy there. And visual fat, four. No idea if that's good or not, but this is all working. So, hmm. What if I can have a go? Well, I need to take my socks off because these are like sensor pads. I'm gonna screw it back down first, it's a bit loosey. Uh, um, we'll just see what happens. Well, that seems to go together well, and well, it's definitely working. All right, well, I've come up to our bathroom to check out our current Weight Watchers scales. Let's go on these. 75.9, I'm gonna go on here. So this one says 76. Right, so what you need to do is you need to go in and set all your information up. So choose your profile by pressing one of the numbers. Go into set, so then you choose whatever your age is. How far does that go up out of interest? Oh, only 99 possibly? Let's have a look. Oh, no, it doesn't, it only goes up to 80. So if you're 81 or over, you cannot use this machine, sorry. And you have to be six or older. Okay, so you have to do that. Uh, once you've set your age, you set your male or female status. Um, there's male, there's female, there's no others, I'm afraid. Set that, and then you set your height. So how short can you be? Do, 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 do. Pretty short, I think. Allow for all sorts. Oh no, up, oh, there we go. So you're allowed to be as high as 199 centimeters and as low as 100 centimeters. So that's your range. And then once you've set all that business, then it will be more accurate. But there we are. I think it's working all right. I've tested it quite a few times now. Uh, unless you go to a doctor's, I guess you don't know if this is 100% accurate, but it's pretty cool. Certainly ideal, nice little gadget. And uh, there we are. Thanks for watching.